Good evening, YouTube, and wherever this video ends up. Um, the reason for this video is I've been talking to some people, um, and it's about trapping, and I'll talk about different traps, what to use, what to use. And um, it's always said as saying how the old gin trap is illegal. Yes, it is illegal. Very good reason why. It's horrible. It's so effective of what it does it's too good almost anyway um i've been trapping with this old boy up in the hills um he's 60 something or other and he can't set the new traps because he has arthritis so his knuckles are all bulged up he can't set them so he uses gin traps but he uses modified modified gin traps and i'll show you how to modify gin traps so, first of all, you're going to get one of these. It's an old gin trap. They're everywhere. Farmers, old people, sheds, everywhere. You can find them hidden away in places. It looks like this right now with the teeth on the inside. That's where the animals like get stuck. That's horrible. What I will do is turn it from that, with the teeth, into that. Where the teeth are on the outside and the flat bits on the inside. So it is better for the animal. I, mean, yeah. um, I can't afford the new traps, they're too damned expensive. So I'm just, uh, that's not to say you have to use the traps, but you just may want to remove the jaws and so that's how that now show you how to do it. You get yourself get the egg hold still. Tidy. But you get yourself one gin trap. Get yourself and screwdriver. Flathead. Very helpful. Doesn't have to be, but it could be magnetic. Now then. <clears throat> First of all, make sure the tongue is out of the way. Second, make sure this bit works. Third, just set the trap and see if it does work. Okay, it works. Now then. Get yourself your screwdriver and push down with your foot. I keep constant pressure at all times. Get your screwdriver in here. In, on oh, said. Thank you. It's pretty old. In there. In there. Out. Oh, see? One. Now, if you're cleaning them for um, mounting or hanging on a wall, fine. If you want to use these for handles, for drawers, or cupboards, cool. But I'm going to show you how to put them back in. So you have your teeth out, see? That. We're going to turn them around like that, you see? So, is better? So, get your spring, push down hard. Now remember, they're like this. So he's sitting here, move him to the outside. Screwdriver. One. It's a bit tricky. Sorted. That didn't take long. So you just sit them down like this. Up. Sits better. 
this bit here is flat, this bit here is flat. So you sit in here and pop. Now then, these traps are illegal, but I'm not using You're not going to see it being used, you're just going to see it being changed. A bit stiff. Um, rules when you're using any kind of trap one do not sit anywhere near houses at least not within 150 meters although best keep it further away from that keep your fingers out of the way that's a very big one I worked it out the hard way I kept setting them the wrong way and the guy was tracking with he never told me I was setting them wrong he wanted to see what I would do so yeah your trap. I was using one of the modern traps which kept wrapping my fingers so it's like this. I was setting it like this, right? Now where's my finger? Here. So if it goes off, it's come it's come up, my fingers get caught. And he taught me. Ah actually it really hurts. And he taught me over, hand underneath, over, hold up. Release the pressure with your foot and it is set. Now then, ideally you shouldn't be using these. You shouldn't ha have to be using these. But if you got no money, um, you need money, or any other reason, what you can think of, you shouldn't be using them, so that's the biggest thing, you should not be using them. You shouldn't be using them, but if you have to, you have to. I go trapping for money to help the ecology of New Zealand and to clear possums off mate's land. I've been using these traps and the newer uh, traps and I can honestly say I've had more success with these old traps than I have with the new ones because the animal can get away, the too lightweight was this. You don't have to have the peg, that's just for rabbits. You, tie, you nail it to a tree, it's heavy, it can't go anywhere. Now like this, you shouldn't shred the animal's leg, it'll hurt, but you shouldn't shred it. Um, Kids, shoot, do not leave them anywhere. Cats, dogs, kids can find them. Because there's nothing worse than having a kid uh, his hand caught in a trap. It's horrible. Um, um, I have never caught cat, cats or a hedgehog with these traps. Only possums. So, good luck. <laughs>